Okay. So today, Elder Scrolls Online, they uh, they published one of their new meat characters, which they do often, especially leading up to DLCs, uh, chapters, and stuff like that. And this one's pretty special to me. It's, it's much Imperial, very WoW. Um, and I really, I, I really like this one. I think this is going to be an amazing character. Now, disclaimer, I don't do the PTS stuff. I don't like to spoil stuff for me. I like on release date to jump in with a blind eye and enjoy the story, meet the characters, stuff like that. So some people, some of you on the PTS may have already kind of run into her. Um, and I appreciate you not spoiling it for me, but um, the meet the character came out, which is fine. I'm good with meet the characters. It's good. And this one, when I tell you it gave me chills, it gave me chills because wow. I'm going to read it for you. I'm going to link the uh, the article in the description below as well. But everybody knows we're going down the Gold Road. We're going to the Clovian Highlands. We're going to the Westfield. We're going to Skingrad. So this is Meet the Character, Tribune, Alea. I'm not sure how we're going to pronounce that, but Alea. Alea. Sounds good. Meet Tribune, Alea Idolus, an elite agent of Count Calantius's. Count Calantius of Skingrad in a new Meet the Character. Count Calantius, I write you today to recommend Tribune Alea Idolus for special duty in your personal service. I understand you are searching for a marshal with the flexibility to handle complex challenges in these troubled times. Rest assured, Tribune Alea possesses the intelligence and discretion to act as your agent in any situation. She possesses a rare combination of courage, resourcefulness, and personal honor making her perhaps the finest young officer it is my privilege to know. While I could go on at length about Tribune Alea's sterling service, I imagine you want to know more about the person who wears the uniform. First, Alea Idolis is a native of Westfield, born and bred in the Canovian Highlands. She is the daughter of Quaterius Idolis, whom you may remember as a wealthy, upstanding merchant. Quaterius died of the Canaan flu when Ayla was still quite young, but he left her a generous inheritance and made arrangements for her to receive a first-rate education. One might expect a young lady of means to choose a comfortable life, but Ayla Idolus preferred more energetic pursuits. She grew up riding, hunting, swimming, and climbing all over the city country home after her father had left her, and especially loved fencing. I have heard the family servants had a hard time keeping up with her. In any event, Ayla enlisted as a common legionary in the Second Era 573. Even though her wealth and family ties could have easily bought her an officer's commission, which is very true. Usually in, a, in, a, in an Imperial Legion, you, you buy your commission, you buy your officer status, or your status as, you know, a nobility will get you grant you that. But instead, she enlisted as a common legionary, which is very noble. Some people join the Imperial Legion to see the world. Others test their mettle. Legionary Ayla Idolus served in Bankrai and Reaper's March without seeing much action. Instead, her true test came right here in Colovia when Duke Varen launched his rebellion against Emperor Leovin. I have a other short little video about Varen's rebellion. I'm going to redo it and do it in a long form, but I will uh, I'll uh, drop a little card with that video so you can check out Varen's rebellion so you kind of understand what happened. Instead, her true test came right here in Colovia when Duke Varen launched his rebellion against Emperor Leovin. She joined Varen forces and fought valiantly in the defense of Kvach. Later, now Sergeant Ayla Idolus marched to the Imperial City under Duke Varen's banner and helped storm the White Gold Tower in the Second Era 577. If you read my article that I did on X about my character, Aurelis, he was also a part of Varen's rebellion, grew up in Colovia, so that's why this character kind of speaks to me because she had a very similar upbringing as my character Arliss, so um, I feel very akin to her with this art, so, and I'm very excited about it. Um, and Arliss too, he uh, fought with Varen all the way up until the storming of uh, the Imperial City. After the Soul Burst, Ayla Idolus returned home to the Westwield Legion. She fought to defend Colovia in the confusing times following Emperor Varen's disappearance. When the Daggerfall Covenant invaded the Heartlines in the Second Era, fi Second Era 580, she won great renown at the Battle of North. Sergeant Ayla 
Idilus rallied her comrades and led her outnumbered forces to victory after officers, after the officers of her cohort fell. For her valor, valor and initiative, I had the honor of promoting her to Centurion and awarding her the spurs of an Imperial Knight. Centurion Ayla Idilus quickly proved herself to be an outstanding officer, demonstrating a rare talent for thinking independently. The result of her unusual education, or so I would assume, once again, her record of success demanded recognition, and she earned the red diamond of a tribute. In my opinion, Ayla Idilus is not only an exceptional Kolovalian legionary, she's a hero, tried and tested in both the fire of battle and the storm of troubled times. I have not the slightest doubt that she will prove herself invaluable to my Lord Count. And I believe you will soon come to trust her judgment and devotion every bit as much as I do now. Your servant, Commander Marion Felgard Keep. Feldegard Keep, sorry. The trusty tribune is sure to be busy with uh, all that is occurring in the Westworld. However, she'll carve out time for help for adventures in the upcoming Gold Road chapter. Will you assist her in securing Skingrad and its environs? Let us know via X, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and all the things. Gold Road arrives. Anyway, like I was saying, she's Colovian. She joined the Legions at a young age. She sided with Varen in the Rebellion. Um, very, I feel very akin to this character, and I think this is, I, I hope, I hope they expand more on her <laughs> as, as the chapter goes on because it's very Imperial Mike. all I got to say well there you have it uh, there is meet the character Tribunela hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe for more Elder Scrolls Online thanks guys